السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ اٹ از کسٹمری فار کراچی کونسل اینڈ فارن ریلیشنس ٹو انوائٹ ون آف دا کونسل جنرل ایٹ دیئر بورڈ آف گورنرز میٹنگ وی آر ہولڈنگ اور میٹنگ ٹو ڈے آفٹر دس گیٹ ٹوگیدر اینڈ وی آر انوائٹیڈ آنریبل مسٹر کیم ہیک سنگ فار دس میٹنگ تھینک یو آل فار کمنگ آنریبل مسٹر کیم ہیک سنگ کونسل جنرل آف ریپبلک آف کوریا ڈسٹنگوش گیس چیئرمین ممبر بورڈ آف گورنرس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹلمین ویلکم ونس اگین ٹو کے سی ایف آرس بورڈ آف گورنرز میٹنگ ٹو ڈے In addition, an MOU will be signed between uh, Karachi Council and Foreign Relations and Swiss Chamber of Swiss Asia Chamber of Commerce during this period. Without any further ado, may I request you, sir, to come and talk about your country. Good morning, everyone. On this occasion, uh, so, uh, I just want to talk about our country briefly and after that I just want to mention the mutual cooperation between two countries and the relationship between Pakistan and our country. So it is for me a great opportunity to enhance the relationship between our distinguished guests and me and our diplomatic mission in Karachi. Uh, when you uh, want uh, the Germany or in our country or here, uh, Pakistan, Karachi is totally different uh, so situation, different phase. But uh, I'm very happy because uh, here, uh, climate zone, a subtropical climate zone, so wonderful, these uh, colorful trees and uh, subtropical trees. So, so I'm really very happy. So here, This, uh, the, um, Mr. Farouk is here. Uh, I have told him so Mr. Farouk is uh, officially recognized florist, but I'm not officially recognized florist. But like Mr. So Farouk, I'm very, uh, I'm really interested in trees, uh, flowers, but here, really in Pakistan, uh, Karachi is a wonderful city. So with over 24 million population, Uh, so Pakistan is really very vibrant and a very so energetic city and so wonderful. And so I'm really very satisfied. So on this occasion, I just want to uh, so about our country and our the relationship between our two countries. As you know, Korea is. Uh, divided country. Uh, the Germany is unified, but our country, unfortunately, not uh, until now, still uh, divided. So between North and South Korea, uh, the, uh, along the demilitarized zone, both sides, really, our front line is heavily armed, heavily fortified. On the North Korean side, two kilometers, South Korean side, two kilometers, four kilometers bright, uh, this, uh, the, the uh, demilitarized zone is uh, really, uh, the, I have uh, served my uh, military service also at, at border. It's uh, really so, uh, very, so, in, in, in very difficult situation. And, uh, so now on Korean Peninsula, uh, because of that, uh, Crisis management is of great importance to our country. And so North Korea has, uh, until now, after Korean War, after Korean War, until now, so many times, uh, the military uh, provocation. And so on the Korean Peninsula is peace processing. And at the same time, crisis management is really, really is of great uh, importance. Uh, now, North Korea is now a really big problem. Now, this North Korea is, uh, yesterday, I have just uh, heard the news from our, 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 our headquarters from Seoul. Now, North Korea is uh, 
uh, COVID, so Corona infection cases uh, now until 300,000 cases. North Korean medical service, medical standard is very low. And so North Korea, North Korean people are not totally are not vaccinated. And so North Korean some situation is really very emergent uh, situation. And so our South Korea, our government has provided already, suggested, provided medical, so, uh, so proposed, proposed uh, so medical so assistance to North Korea, but North Korea has not, uh, did not react uh, so to our uh, proposal. I don't know exactly, but uh, our government, our government is now changing the new government. So. Last month, uh, so until last month, uh, the uh, progressive government, but the uh, new government is a little conservative. But uh, anyway, our new government will so uh, will uh, so uh, the have decided to so um, so assist uh, North Korea in uh, now it's a very in endangered situation North Korea. Uh, and uh, so North Korean leader Kim Jong Un has already officially declared North Korea is now is in a state of emergency and because of uh, this uh, pandemic. Uh, so I don't know. I'm I'm not sure uh, that North Korea can this uh, bring the this uh, uh, emergent situation under control. Um, and so I'm not sure because North Korea medical. Uh, service uh, totally has collapsed, and, uh, so not, it, is, it is not so easy it's a situation. I just want to so the mention uh, our you know, Korean uh, economy. And so after Korean War, uh, after end of uh, Japanese colony, and after three years of Korean War, Korea is was totally devastated by the three years of Korean War. Nothing, and so. At the time, Korea is a total agricultural uh, country, no industrial facilities, uh, but uh, small industrial facilities were totally devastated, destroyed uh, by three years Korean War. We have nothing. At the time, 19, uh, after Korean War, after 1953, was well, so the, the end of the uh, 50s, 60s, beginning of the 60s, uh, we were, South Korea is one of the poorest country in the world. GDP per capita at the time, 140, 140 dollar. One of the poorest country in the world. Now, our, now 20, as of 2021, 20, so our Korean so GDP per capita is Thirty-five thousand uh, uh, U.S. dollar. Uh, our Korea is the uh, world uh, right, the number tenth biggest uh, uh, economic power and uh, number eight uh, export country. And so we are uh, all our South Korean people. We are proud of our achievement. So we are so but yeah, achievement. But. We, our Korea is, uh, we have also, um, we are so military dictatorship, um, military dictatorship. As I, as I was a uh, university student, in my campus, every day demonstration against anti government demonstration, there was a very heavy anti government demonstration. Every day, so this uh, tear, ga tear gas canister has. Uh, the, um, we, we cannot we cannot study really and so at the time as I was a university student at the time uh, the pro democracy movement is in Korea very very so at peak at, at really at peak huh? and with our engagement with our blood uh, we, uh, we have the reached democracy. After that Korea dem Korean democracy is now very 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 strong. We are not baby democracy, we are not young democracy, we are adult democracy, we, our democracy is very strong. We have two, two pillars, one pillar is uh, political stability with uh, very strong democracy and uh, other pillar, economic growth, economic strength. Uh, so we, we uh, really, our South Korea is uh, 
tremendous, tremendous achievement in the past 50, 60 years. We are now receiving so many growing uh, so visa applications from Pakistani businessmen. Now our mission in Karachi, and so it is really very uh, positive signal for the opening of the business activities between two countries. I'm anticipating the many Pakistani people are flying to Korea to contact our our Korean partners, business partners, and it is so it can be really. Uh, you know, get contributed to so um, vibrant uh, business activities in so Karachi. And so really, it, it, is, it is very uh, positive and very encouraging um, signal. And I'm very happy. So, so every day we are receiving so many visa applications from uh, your Pakistani people. And, uh, so very nice. Uh, Okay, so what I mentioned is, um, uh, I have mentioned uh, not <laughs> so details um, uh, about uh, our Korean Peninsula and Korean uh, democracy, economy, and uh, Korean culture, and uh, the relationship between two countries. Uh, and so then, but it's uh, well, because of uh, well, time, time uh, pressure. Time limit. <laughs> so I just want to come to a conclusion. And uh, thank you for your uh, great attention. And uh, once again, uh, thank you for your invitation. Thank you for your presence. Thank you. A lot of points uh, like uh, economy. Uh, culture and all these things which are very important in the development of a nation and I think that we can learn a lot from your country. Uh, let's see how we can uh, sort of organize it so that we can uh, see you know and learn from how you have achieved all these issues. Okay, we have a very unique uh, culture. We have a long history. We have a long tradition. Korea is a, we have so many UNESCO World Heritage in Korea, and uh, especially E Dynasty. About 500 uh, long history of E Dynasty. Uh, so we have a really we are proud of our cultural power, uh, cultural so heritage, and uh, we have uh, our own language, Korean language. Korean language is very uh, systematic and very scientific, very good. There was now Korean language worldwide, uh, thanks to this uh, K wave, Korean wave. So many foreigners uh, are learning our so our language, and so it's uh, it is very very so positive uh, situation. Uh, for me. Oh, uh, so I cannot speak uh, the Urdu language. Urdu language is very much difficult. So, but uh, I can manage. I I'm I can manage to live here in Karachi with my poor English skills. <laughs> so. I am uh, vice chairman of KCFR. I have a very mundane question. Hyundai automobile plant was supposed to be established at Port Kasem, Karachi. And I think Hyundai people had already uh, was in the process of acquiring land. Suddenly we came to know it has been shifted to Faisalabad. What are the reasons for shifting the plant from Port Kasim, Karachi to Faisalabad? It, 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 is, it is not so easy to give answer in this case. It is the decision of our current companies. And so, so, it will, uh, so now I'm sorry to give an answer in this case. But uh, now, so uh, regarding uh, this case, uh, our Korean companies uh, really, really market market oriented. Uh, our Korean companies are market oriented, so they are searching. Also, there is um, uh, here uh, Pakistani market uh, situation. But uh, so unfortunately, so for our Korean companies. Uh, the market in Pakistan is not so big, big size, uh, small. So, so they, they are considering. So here, mm, mm, the, the, it's uh, some 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 problem. My name is Karim Farooq, Your Excellency. 
Talking about the economic cooperation between uh, Korea and Pakistan, I know that uh, Korea has been extending public sector loans to Pakistan. Any particular sectors that uh, Korea is interested in to Pakistan? Because I'm looking into the, you know, the possibilities of getting the government and the private sector to move uh, in using that loan that being offered. Uh, so the, the Mr. Farouk has mentioned that the, so this, uh, our this, uh, this, uh, it is very meaningful and uh, for me it's so really so very good news uh, than here in our uh, Sindh province. Uh, I have already at so the end of uh, March uh, I have visited uh, this uh, your third biggest uh, city. Uh, the name of city is very very difficult to pronounce. Uh, the Sakha, Sakha, Sakha. And so in Sakha now so your children hospital now under construction by our Korean construction companies who uh, is uh, uh, by funded by our Korean EDCF uh, soft loan project it is very impressive on uh, so many uh, residents in Saka what uh, they are expecting on um, uh, this uh, service of uh, children hospital after completion of this project uh, so maybe this uh, uh, EDCF project uh, uh, so project uh, can be completed by the end of this um, this year and next uh, next year our Samsung will provide uh, uh, medical facilities and uh, medical uh, any so uh, medical facilities and equipment equipment. I mean, maybe that this this uh, medical this uh, hospital can be operated in the middle of next uh, uh, month after after three four year months probation period. May I now request the chairman for his concluding remarks. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me first thank you for having uh, elaborated uh, so openly uh, about uh, Korea, South Korea, and I'm sure uh, people are here much more knowledgeable. And it's also refreshing uh, to see a career diplomat posted in Karachi to know so much about the local country and correlate it with their own country. Our problem is, and uh, Excellency, you probably know that uh, in 1960s and we were so far ahead of South Korea, that South Korea came and borrowed from our five-year plan, right? And today, yeah, of course, you are a role model of what we should have been today also. And we unfortunately failed because we went after our industrialists, etc. And, and you actually supported those industrialists to bring big trading uh, uh, companies and big uh, corporations. And that actually raised the economy of Korea and what you are today. You are right, every country has got uh, good points, bad points, but there is no doubt that South Korea is a role model for other countries. It is, a, it's a, it is in fact, something that should be an accepted fact. And both, both in terms of uh, not only, uh, let us say, uh, the economy, but also the political discourse. You've seen the political discourse very open, uh, very knowledgeable, and we've seen the change of government, the transition after the military rule that was there, the, the transition has been very smooth. Um, I will say this to you only, you've seen uh, this thing, etc. We need to carry this dialogue on further. We need to deepen this dialogue. And we would, uh, at KCFR, would be very interested in having you over again, uh, you know, to again uh, have the discourse with you and to maintain a relationship with you, which is uh, ongoing and must be maintained. Uh, our, uh, I can only say to you that uh, thank you very much for being here. And uh, I'm sure everybody here will give you a big hand in saying what a wonderful <laughs> session it was. Well done. Uh, I have a personal gift uh, for you, my books, which I would like to present to you, uh, if you kindly accept it on my behalf. <laughs>